Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have my September 2021 Birch Box. It did arrive a little bit later this month. Usually I get it quite early in the month. But here it is, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I absolutely love the packaging this month. All the bright colors and everything are just beautiful. These boxes are really, really uh, great, and I can't... They're useful, they're fantastic. So anyway, if you want to see what I got in my customized birch box, please stay tuned. All right, so this month we have a pull drawer type uh, action here, which I really like. It doesn't just open up, but we've got a pull drawer. And of course we've got the card on top as normal. And it says, wake up to the skin of your dreams. And we've got a product guide here that I'll keep to myself to help me with the products. Although I have to admit, I did peek and I actually tried one of the products already because I, I just couldn't wait to get into this and it came so late. And I also wanted to try out one of my August ones because it is going to be, it was one of the choices for the October customization. But there we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but guys, I'm super excited about this box. I'm really happy to see what I got in it. I already kind of know because I also, they, they show a sneak peek online and I do look at that. So anyway, let's take a look at some of the products that are showcased. Uh, we'll start with the one that I tried. How about that? This was my choice for the month. My, um, customization. It's R&Co and I heard that this was a really good skincare brand and it's a uh, basically a prep spray for your hair. You can see I used it a little bit. It's a little bit's gone out the top already and um, I I really really liked it so far. It's hard to tell off of one use this is, you know, as to actually what it will do uh, but I'll read you about it in the product guide. So and the full size would be $22, and it's this spray protects hair from heat styling, brushing, and other potential damage, plus helps your, uh, helps your other products adhere more evenly. Uh, spritz onto dry or damp hair, style is desired. So I was definitely going for it for the fact that I could spray it onto dry hair, and the fact that it would help uh, other products adhere more evenly. And to, and to protect from damage um, from brushing. So I, so far I also found that it was a great detangler. Um, I sprayed on some dry hair last night and it definitely loved, did some nice detangling work for me. So I'm excited with it so far. The smell, there is a faint smell. I can't really place it, but it's, it's not too obnoxious or anything. It's not too strong. It doesn't smell like a salon, you know, so it's overall, it's a very, very nice product. Um, I can't wait to get full use out of it and give, be able to review it fuller, uh, to, to a better extent, rather. All right, so next we have a Stress Check ha ha Kind Hands. It's hand cream. You guys know I love hand cream. And it, this is for soothing hand cream for dry, overwashed hands by the brand This Works. It's 15 milliliters, so we know I'm actually using some of these sample size hand creams. They don't actually last very long, but it is just enough to see if you like the brand or not. Um, so this is, the full size would be $22, and this deeply moisturizing hand cream with vitamin E and shea butter for dry and sensitive hands provides relief from the effects of overwashing and you massage into dry hands. And I was super excited about it because I always love getting hand lotion, and then I did smell it, and it has my, the scent in there that I don't like, um, Elangy Lang. But it also has lavender and some other scents, it looks like. Uh, but those are the two that were sticking out to me the most. It's it's very, very hard. There actually looks like there's some vetiver in there, too. Um, I mean, that's all down there. I'd, I might have to go on the product company's website to get all the scents. But because there were so many scents and vetiver was so grounding, I might be able to tolerate it to use it. Um, I'll take another whiff again real quick here. Yeah, so it has a floral but grounding scent, which is what I would expect. The vetiver is great for grounding, but I'm still not sure about the Ylang Ylang. I'll just have to try it on my hands, and I don't exactly, I'm not exactly up to trying something right now, but next we have a very, very tiny tube, which is making me think eye cream, and you know I love some eye cream, so it looks like it's the brand Arrow which I believe is Best Birchbox's brand, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right about that? Um, let's see, Under Eye Brightening Serum. 
So I always love a good eye serum. So let's check this out. And you know, a little bit of eye serum goes a long way. So I'm totally fine with the size of that product. I know it looks really tiny, but eye serums can last a really long time. Uh, it's, it, it, it says light. I don't know what that means, but the full size again is $22. Oh, it's light because it, it's it's a tinted eye serum and it helps conceal, moisturize, and brighten under eyes for an instant pick-me-up with light coverage. A little goes a long way. G gently tap under your eyes and blend. Let me know, guys, in the, in the comments below if you've ever used a tinted um, eye cream. I'm sure most of you have, but I actually haven't. I'm not entirely sure I want to. I don't really have a need to tint anything uh, with my eyes, so I'm going to leave that there for now. Let's see what is next here. We have, well, this is a bigger size. This brand is One Kind. And it is a Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer with squalene and rosehip oil. Those sound like good ingredients. Um, I love getting all these samples. It's just so much fun to try them all. Uh, so, it's full size is $38. It's nighttime moisturizer. It locks in hydration as you sleep to ward off signs of aging like dullness and fine lines. It's fast absorbing non-greasy formula leaves your skin dewy and glowing. So this is one, let's see, I haven't opened it yet. Um, it is fun usually I know to get first impressions, but I just could not wait to get into this. Antioxidant rich nutrients for glowing skin in the morning. Makeup now optional. So you apply it at night to clean, dry skin. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys got that sample. There's just a little dab of it. I don't feel like there's much in this bottle. Like when I was squeezing it, it felt like it was already almost on its last legs. Like I don't even know if it would moisturize. I mean, for a night moisturizer, I'm not even sure if it would cover my entire face. Or if I just like tested it on my hands and... um like used a good bit of it but it definitely absorbs very fast and is really really has a little bit of a cream smell to it but that's not that's about it so I really love the smell it doesn't feel too oily or anything like that all right so so far I'm very very happy we've got three skincare products one hair care product and the last item also looks like skincare so I'm really really lucking out with my birch box I'm loving that I'm not getting makeup, which is exactly my profile. I ask for skincare and hair care. So this is fantastic. This last item looks like a type of mask. It's a Balance Me AHA Glow Mask in 10 milliliters. And we'll read about that in the product guide. Um, let's see, it, the full size would be $29. This face mask will brighten, purify, plump, and reveal a natural, more youthful, luminous glow. Smooth over cleansed face and neck, avoiding eye area, leave on for 15 minutes. So, that's really cool. I mean, I can't, um, I might actually try that on my neck since it says that you can be used on your neck. Not too many masks say that. I don't know if they all can and they just don't say that. But, um, yeah, let me know if you guys have tried that. So, I've only seen one person so far that's gotten my entire box. So, let me know in the guy description, uh, sorry, in the comments below, rather, if you've gotten any of my items or all of my items, or if you've tried any of these products before, these brands before, let me know what you think. Especially let me know if your one kind sample seemed empty almost from the start. But otherwise, I am really, really happy with this month's box. I, I, I am, I'm loving my Birch box. I am loving it every month. I've gotten four boxes now. Not all of them have gone up on the channel, but I absolutely love it. I've customized for October. I'm so excited and actually... I'll give you a sneak peek as to what I customized in October because I got the same product in August, which I guess would have been a bummer if I didn't like it, but I loved it, so I'm so excited. I'll spoil that in one second. Alright, so I didn't get to put the August Birch Box on YouTube, but let me know if you'd like to see it. I could do something like this, but I got in... August box the glow recipe watermelon glow pink dream body cream this stuff is amazing I'd never gotten to try glow recipe before it made me totally look into it I thought it was a nice decent sample size too, 20 milliliters um, I love this scent it is it is pure summer watermelon and it's not too sweet or anything like that 
it's it's fantastic. I lo- actually love this, this cream. I put it on my hand and my hand felt so much smoother instantly that I just, I loved it. And it came up as a, a choice for um, October's customization. And I decided, hey, you know, why not to get more? I love it. And this won't last me too, too long. So before I know it, it'll be gone. So I'm getting it again in October. I'm super excited. I just wanted to show this to you guys because I didn't get to in August. This was definitely the highlight of August's box for me. I wasn't as big of a fan of August's. I got this other interesting cool mushroom cream that I'm verdict still out on on that for me on that one. But let me know what you think. Here's September's. My favorite item definitely has to be the hair care product. Um, just because, I mean, that's the only one I've tried, but it definitely... It seems like it's going to, hopefully it will help produce some protection and it might be hard to tell, but a little bit, a little bit, it goes a long way. I will say when you spray the pump, I had trouble with some of it leaking and the cap, it like, it's like you just heard, is very, very loose. Um, so you want to make sure the cap's on tight when you spray because it will leak out a little bit. Uh, it just leaked out onto my hands. But other than that, I really enjoyed using this and it felt good in my hair. It didn't feel too... It didn't like dry my hair up or make it feel clumpy or anything like that because I did use it on dry hair. So I'm excited about that and as usual can't wait to try everything else. So guys this is my September birch box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I unboxed it with this beautiful beautiful artwork and timely a nice orange tissue paper. So if you could if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye.